Hey, what's up guys? So I leave my spools of wire on the table and it's kind of messy, so I finally made myself a little wire spool holder. I designed it to spin freely for no particular reason other than it looks cool. This 30 gauge wire features silicone sheathing, which makes it really strong and flexible. It's stranded wire, so it's really nice for projects and even wearables. The silicone is very resistant to heat, so it won't melt if the tip of the soldering iron gets too close. This is actually my go-to stuff for just about every project. Most jumper wire use PVC-based sheathing, which isn't very heat resistant. So silicone wires are going to last longer, so it's great for reworking. I designed the base of the holder around these spools so they'll fit precisely. It's parametrically driven, so it'll be easy to update the design for different sizes. I'm going to use a radial ball bearing to allow these pieces to spin freely from each other. And for the final assembly, we'll just need a few machine screws to put it all together. Once I had the parts exported and sliced, they're ready for 3D printing. I printed them in PLA and thoroughly tested the tolerances so I went through several iterations. I used M3 screws to attach the spool holder to the bearing mount. Chaffers will make the screws flush with the surface. The shaft of the 3D printed mount is fitted into the inner ring of the ball bearing. The base is press fitted over the outer ring and that's pretty much it for the assembly. The carousel can hold up to 6 spools of wire which is enough to hold all the different colors we carry in the Adafruit store. I also added these little notches that can be used to hold the wires in place. I think this is a great example of practical 3D printing and it's a nice and easy project that anyone with a 3D printer can put together. I shared the files and made the source available to download so folks can make their own. Links are in the description of the video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up while you're down there. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.